Good morning, everybody. We're in for a very core-oriented TRX workout. We'll definitely bring some arms and legs too, but a lot of core in all the variations. So we'll start with the feet in the straps. On all fours, place your hands underneath your shoulders, the knees underneath your hips, and then start on the cat and cow, rounding your back and extending. Mobilizing through whatever you need. Getting a feel of your body, its form today, right now. And activate your abs. Pull your belly button in, Ac activate your pelvic floor, and then find your neutral. And this is when you need your core ready to lift your knees on an exhale. Inhale, lower, and exhale. Lift your knees and float them an inch above the mat. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, and inhale, lower. Working into the depth of the abs. Feel that pull of the belly button into your spine, closing your rib cage, keeping the shoulders nice and open, the neck long. Have some awareness in the glutes without clenching them. And then hold the knees up. And from here, go a little higher and back to floating and a little higher and back to floating. Now push out of your shoulders, keep the shoulder blades wide, elbows micro bent. Have some awareness in your hands, in your fingers, fingertips. And work the quads here too but motivate the lift from the lower abs. And either take a little break now or go a little higher even. And we'll have nine of those and eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And release. Sit back into a child pose. Take a moment here. And then back, hands underneath your shoulders. Take another cut and another cow. And already feel a difference now. Oh, the body is already a little warmer, a little more supple. And then onto the forearms, elbows. Try to have your forearms parallel if you can. And inhale here to exhale and lift the knees again. And now we're gonna slowly extend and bend. And we're gonna extend and we're even gonna open and pull the knees back in. Keep your stability as you push out into your plank. Pull your navel in. Close your ribs towards your midline. Work your glutes as you open. Keep your shoulders right on top of the elbows. Keep pushing out of the shoulders. And two more. And one more. 
and release the knees. Now thread one arm underneath the other for a twist and really push into the rotation gently but very targeted in the thoracic spine. And try the other side. And release. And we're gonna take the feet out of the straps and turn around. I'm gonna just shorten the TRX a little bit, mainly for spacing reasons. So I'm not gonna get for too far back. And then we're gonna we're gonna roll down our spine here. So try to lift up tall and stretch out your spine. Inhale and exhale slowly, roll down. Maybe halfway, maybe you can go all the way. You'll have the TRX to help you. Inhale, ideally, you got your arms straight, your head down, and the TRX nice and extended and straight. And exhale, and then slowly come back. Inhale, and exhale, rolling. And inhale. Exhale, barely touching down. And work the abs deeply inside. Keep the feet heavy, the legs heavy. Try to release the hip flexors as much as you can. Send the ribs down. You can connect them into your, into your pelvis. And one more of the full range. And hold it halfway on the way up now. We're going to just pulse down and down and down. And pulse, pulse, pulse. Deepening the ab work, relaxing the shoulders, the neck, chin and chest are connected. You might want to look down to your navel and see if it's pulling in on each pulse. Remind your pelvic floor to do the same so you can package that core and pull in. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And just come up, soles of the feet together. Take a stretch here. And then come back. We're gonna hold on to the handles. Just Bringing in a bicep curl here. So now the abs are just tight, but you're not rolling. You're just gonna keep your spine in one piece and pull into the bicep curl. The further forward you sit, the more challenging it will be. It's also challenging for the neck though. So you wanna Keep your chin chest connection. Arms high up, elbows high, making sure you're not pulling them down as you bend. Keep your spine stable. Keep the abs working, but it's not an ab work, an ab exercise in the first place. But we're working the bicep. And we'll have four more. And three, two, and one, and then one to pull up. And we're gonna extend the legs and just slowly reach forward. 
And then when you're ready, you just let your head go. And come back. Now let's go into a side plank. Top foot in. And on your elbow, forearm, top arm reaching up. Lower leg, bottom leg bent. And we're gonna just push up and down. Working the bottom side of the waist, working the glutes, the core nice and tight. Exhale on the way up. You push into the TRX with your top foot. So you'll have some inner thighs as well. And then hold it up. And we're just gonna bring that leg forward and back and forward and back and inhale and exhale. And two more, one more and hold the leg straight. Now see if you can extend that bottom leg and if not, just stay on the knee and lift, lift, lift. Squeeze your buttocks now. Don't let that bottom buttock go loose. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And release. Now just out of the TRX, you can hold on here and then stretch into the opposite direction. Just reaching into some good length of that bottom side, right side for me. And then we're going to turn around and bring the top leg in again. Bottom leg bent, top arm up, reaching up out of that shoulder. Make sure it's nicely placed and then start to lift and lower, pressing the top foot into the T-Rex, but pushing from the bottom leg, buttock, the bottom side. Lifting up nice and tall. Breathing through, pulling your navel in. We'll have four more here. And hold it up now, bring the leg forward and back and point it forward and flex it back. Work the shoulder blades apart as much as you can. And two more here. And one more. And then bring the leg back. Extend the bottom leg if you can. Lift, lift lift through your pelvis and working the glutes, working the core, lots of side core here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release out of the TRX with your foot, in with your hand and into a stretch. and release it. I'm going to now 
lengthen my TRX almost all the way down to the floor, only just about a hand off the floor. And I'm going to lie down facing the TRX. And I'll go in with my hands. We're doing an, a back exercise here. So make sure you place your pubic bone into the mat. And then inhale here, length in the neck to begin with. And then on your exhale, slowly peel off, lift your chest and come back. So you're gonna work your glutes, you're gonna work your back extensors, definitely a lot of stomach, a lot of abs too. So you try to have some weight in the TRX, some weight in the hands, but not too much. You want to be very active in the back extensors. You want to pull the shoulders down. You want to activate your lats. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, going down. Shoulders pulling away from your ears. Ribs closing. Bring that weight onto the pubic bone. And then hold it in the halfway. And circle the arms and bring them back forward and circle back and forward. Working your back extensors, working your glutes, pull the navel in. Strong your back, shoulders down, neck is long. And breathing through in two more. And one more. And then release and just take the hands underneath your forehead. Just give your pelvis a little wiggle. And then we'll go in one more time. Stretch those arms forward. Inhale. On your exhale, come up and hold it up here. Now just pull one arm in and out. Other arm and out. Make sure you only do this at a height where your back is still happy. So you don't want to force your lower back into too much of an extension if it doesn't like it. However, generally don't be afraid of the extension since it's a pretty good mobilization for your discs. And we'll have four more. We'll have some tricep here too and some lats. Last one each. And then release down and another wiggle. And then push back into a child pose here. Slowly rolling up. And we'll turn around again. I'm just gonna lift my T-Rex up to mid calf again small adjustments and we'll go in with the feet and all fours and we'll do some push-ups here different variations we'll lift the knees and float them navel is in the whole abdominal wall is pulled in and we're just gonna Push up here. Five, four, three, two, 
four, three, two, and one. Knees down, just sit back, and back we come. Now, if this is too hard to repeat, you can keep your knees down and just do the push-ups there. Otherwise, follow along with the second set with the floating knees. Lift them up and push. Now you want to keep your shoulders wide. Keep the elbows slightly torn out and the hands slightly turned in. Now lots of abs. Very core oriented thinking. Five four, three, two, one, and release. Now take the feet out, and we're gonna just grab the handles now. Bring the knees further back here, and get ready for a roll out here. You can extend your feet so you don't tense them up and then slowly move forward. I know you want to experiment with your pelvis. This will be little core. This will be a lot of core. So make sure you have your abs ready as you move forward. And you want to take your hips with you, really. Not to make it too easy. You'll feel a lot of arm work too, a lot of tricep and lats. So you'll feel the side of the shoulders, the back of the shoulder. As you bring your pelvis forward, make sure you're not starting to hang into the hips. Let the glutes still be active. Shoulders down, navel in. Look, floor refresher, and the ribs are closing. And we'll have four more. Two, and we'll have one more. And then sit yourself back. Reach the arms forward and take a break here. And then also circle the arms back. Bring them back forward in a big circle. Nice and stretchy for your shoulders and slowly roll back up. And we'll turn around again. Just push them up forward a little bit. And we'll have the hands in the straps. Seated, nice and tall. Inhale, exhale. Slowly rolling down with a little push into the straps. Inhale, exhale. Now the roll up is a little more difficult because the T-Rex won't help you anymore, but actually is making it harder. If this is too hard for you, please go back to the ones where you get the help. Maybe even just doing a couple of assisted ones and then move it on to this variation. Drawing your navel in.
Pull that belly button in, close your ribs, chin and chest connected. And then bring the hands together again. And we're gonna go into a half roll down here. Now let's go into rotations as if you were punching with the opposite side. So left arm punching to go to the right and the right arm punching to go to the left. So then you really get that good initiation. And push and push. So you want to feel into your obliques here. You want to have a good navel spine connection all the way through and keep your pelvis stable in the center. Hold it in the center, and we're just going to roll down. Scoot a little closer, and then bring the heels right in. So the balls of the feet will be against the handles, and we'll have the arms just next to you. Inhale here, exhale, lift the pelvis up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Four, three, abs are in, two, and then hold it up and out and in. Keep lengthening your neck, opening the shoulders, relaxing the arms, and four, three, two, and then hold it out and pulse into the end of range. Pulse, pulse, more glutes, 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 out, out, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and release. Little swing. And we'll give the backside just a little break. We'll have the hands behind our head. Inhale here, and we're going into a bicycle crunch. Take it slow though, one leg after the other. switch it to the continuous one staying up still keeping your legs nicely parallel and stable the pelvis stable and rotate above the belly button Keep breathing, keep deepening. As soon as you feel your abdominal wall bulging or pushing out, you need to take a break or step it down a little bit to draw it in again, or else it won't be effective in the way you want it to be. And we'll have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two and one and then release and just push with your feet just to give your pelvis a little wiggle and to release your abs deep breaths and then we're gonna scoot a little closer so we'll have about a right angle in the knees Get ready with your neck long and the shoulders open, the arms next to you. Inhale here, and then we're gonna push up into a um, hip press. So we'll have all the way up and down. Two, three, four, ribs down. Five, hips up, ribs down. Seven, eight, nine, ten, we'll keep on going. Eleven, up to twenty. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and we'll hold the 20th up and just pulse the heels in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and release. And this is the moment when you pull your knees in. Just let go of the T-Rex for a moment. And also open the arms, let the knees go to one side to allow for that twist to happen wherever you need it in your spine and the other side and come back I'm gonna just roll over to bring my feet back in now feet in I will be on the forearms. Elbows underneath your shoulders. And we're gonna inhale, exhale to lift the knees, hover them. Now from here, push all the way up. Make sure you're not slipping into the T-Rex with your feet. And push all the way. Now we're working some good quads too. Take it slowly. Keep breathing. And we'll do 10 more if you can. You might need a break. Take your break and then step right back in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Deep breath here. Hmm. We'll check in. How are you feeling? And we'll have the hands in the straps again. This time we'll go for a tricep though. Tricep extension so you can have your hands close together, linked. And then bend and extend. You might want to extend your feet again here and then bring your pelvis with you too. I push my hands together for stability. You're allowed to do that. Again, sweet spot of where your pelvis wants to be. You definitely want to bring it with you. But if you need a safety angle in the hips, that's okay. Lots of abs though, and don't let your pelvis stay too far behind. And 
four more, three, two, and then hold the bend. Hold it right here. Try to move the arms out a little. Move them back now. Tons of core. Glutes, and definitely tricep. Four more. And three, two, one, release. Rolling back up, turning around again. And we'll go back to the abs. Holding on to the foot straps and roll yourself down now. Slowly going down to stay down here though. So you want to scoot a little closer until your right elbow is touching down on the mat just about um, holding on with that right hand. And then the left hand goes behind your head and you're inhaling, exhale, and then just go into a twisted crunch here. So the elbow is touching down, pelvis stays, and you're just basically lifting the opposite shoulder blade. You're peeling it off and you're moving the left side or the opposite side of the ribcage over to the hip, diagonally over. Very clean, twisted crunch, diagonal crunch. And four more, three, two, and one. And now extend that arm forward, lift up into a crunch, and now we're gonna just go into those side bends and push and reach forward and reach and reach. Four, three, two, and one. Release for a moment. Just give your head a little break, your neck a little break, and then hold on with your left hand or just the other side. Elbow down on the floor. Right hand go goes behind the head. Inhale on your exhale. Go into your twisted crunch. Now check in with your feet too. Give them a little awareness, a little attention. Make sure your sacrum is touching down, pelvis firm, peeling off that shoulder blade. Four more. Refresh the pelvic floor and refresh your navel. Two more. And one. Now reach the left hand forward, come up into your crunch, and then go side, bend, and reach, and reach. So you should feel this in your left side now. Still working your abdominal wall in, 
in, in, in, and we'll have four, three, two, and one, and then release. Again, turn your head, release your neck. And then go in with your hands. I'm just going to lengthen the T-Rex all the way down here. If you have some more length to go, try that. So you can have your hands almost next to you and then let your legs float up into the air and then extend them all the way up. Inhale here, exhale, one leg. Inhale up, exhale, other leg. Scissoring, we're working. Stability here, lower abs. Now let your shoulders be heavy. Press into the T-Rex with your hands to have just a little bit of activity in that upper back too. Chin and chest firmly connected. We'll have four more. Three and two and one. And then pull your knees in. And rock them side to side, releasing your lower back. And we're gonna come up. I'm shortening to a mid-calf length again. And we are gonna go in with both feet again for another side plank. So, top foot forward, bottom foot back, and then I'm linking my feet. This is a preference. You can also decide to have your feet together or just have them loose. If you need a hand here, use that or try to have your arm up when you lift up into your side plank here. Now from here, split the legs and close and split and close. And keep it going if you can. Keep breathing, hips stay up, shoulder on top of the elbow, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Either stay up here or take one knee down to help. When we just bring this arm into a beautiful circle, keeping the rest of the body stable. And it looks easy. It's just some distracting arm, but it is actually hard. <laughs> and we'll just have two more of those. And then release down. You can go straight over to the other side. So switch over via your stomach. And up into your side plank on the second side. And we have the splits. And we'll have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. And either you drop your bottom knee down or 
You just keep going here. We'll have four more. Keep it stable. Three, two, and one. And release. Take the arms forward. Reach out of the shoulders, out of the armpits. Relax your chest all the way down. And then get ready for another forearm plank. This time we're gonna do a mountain climber and we're gonna get our legs going a little bit too. So you want to lift from your abs, float the knees up, and then slowly let that mountain climber take on some momentum and some speed. Not too fast though for today. You should feel your quads here too. And we have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and release. Deep breath. I definitely feel my quads here. All right, one more ab thing to finish off. We promised core. I think we worked core. And then inhale. Exhale, rolling about a three quarters. In and go to a left and to a right. And you decide how much TRX you need for help here. You decide how much support you need how much you can handle just by your ab strength. Keep breathing. Keep your feet anchored. Try to release hip flexors and work more abs. And we'll have four and three, two, and one. And come up straight, soles of your feet together. <sighs> Well-deserved relaxation here. And then take a cross-legged and reach forward again. So you might want to get some more glutes here. And switch the legs. And then come back. And just sit cross-legged. Take a deep breath here. Close your eyes for a moment and just feel into your body. We've accomplished a lot. We only stayed down on the mat, but worked all the way through the core, front, side, back. Some arms, some legs. Good breath awareness. 
And then open your eyes and take the arms up. Bring in all the good things, palms together. Feeling nice and centered. Thank you.